What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Lone Fox. I am so excited because today's video is not a home decor video. It's not a fashion decor video. Fashion fashion DIY video. It is not a... It's a DIY... Oh my gosh, I am really messing this intro up. I'm listening to Lana Del Rey Venice Beach right over here, so... Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited because these DIY ideas are so inexpensive, so easy, but they're so like cool and trendy and things that you would see at Urban Outfitters or just like online where a case would be like $50. We can make them for a couple of dollars. So I think you guys are really going to love this video. If you guys would like to also follow me on Instagram, it is Lone Fox Home. And if you want to follow my personal Instagram account where I post pictures more of myself, you can follow me at I'm Drew Scott. But without further ado, honestly, let's just get into this video. For this metallic stripe phone case, I used some metallic tape, an X-Acto knife, some Dixie cups, a clear case, and some easy cast resin, which I found at Joann's Fabrics. So what I started off by doing was using these quarter inch wide strips of metallic tape, which I also found at Joann's, in just a tape section. And it comes in four colors, a silver, a lightish gold color, which I'm using right now. And then it comes in a actual true yellow gold and a copper tone, or sorry, more of a rose gold tone, I guess you could say, a little bit coppery. And what I did was I just switched and um, created a pattern with all four of these strips of metallic tape. And the thing that I wanted to do with this was just kind of create a repeating diagonal stripe. But I also realized that if you put all these tapes on here, of course, they're going to come off. Like it's not just gonna stick on your phone case forever. So I exactoed off the excess. And then what I did was use this easy cast resin, which is so incredibly amazing to work with. I'm so excited about this. Um, all you have to do is mix half of each part or equal parts of each. So I used the same amount of the hardener and the same amount of the resin resin, mix them together for about two minutes using a stick, just a little um, popsicle stick. And this creates a chemical reaction, which actually creates a super clear resin. So once that is all mixed up, you can pour it over the back of your phone case. And I suggest doing a thinner layer than what I did. This was the first time I did it. So I kind of used a lot more than I should have, but it dried completely fine. Uh, it just took quite a bit longer. Um, and you can smooth it out with a popsicle stick. And don't worry, all of these air bubbles will actually completely pop over the course of like two hours and it becomes crisp crystal clear and hardens into something like this that looks insane. This next case is a bit more creative and what I used was some cross stitch fabric and embroidery hoop, a clear case, embroidery needles, and embroidery thread. So I started off using my embroidery hoop, which I picked up for a couple dollars at the store. And then I put my embroidery fabric on the inside of it. And this is just kind of like a thicker weave linen fabric, which is great for embroidery because it has little holes in it, kind of like a checkerboard if you could think about it. And um, what you're going to do is actually create cross stitches in this. So you just go in through one of the holes, go diagonal above to the next hole, and then down through the opposite one and diagonal above to create a cross shown here and this is going to be uh, used to create the entire shape of the popsicle so you're going to start off using whatever color you like a darker color and you're going to create a rectangle of this um, in a cross stitch form and once the rectangle is created i also did one strip down the center of the popsicle just to sort of show those ridges if you guys know what type of popsicle i'm talking about i'm kind of following a reference photo which i'll show you in just a minute here from pinterest which i'll also link below to the respective Owner, but I really love the way that this one looked and I did a purple strip down the center And then I also went back and did a lighter purple strip down the two inner sides Just to sort of give it a little bit of dimension and really fill in those sections We're going to tie off the strings on the inside and use a orangish brown to create the stick Which I do believe was just four crosses total to create the stick Here's the reference photo here, and I love this because the words suck it actually perfectly align with one popsicle. So you can put the C and the K of suck on the right side and the S and the U on the left side. So it's pretty easy to actually um, center this with the popsicle. And it's also sort of on a grid system. What I did was just embroider in the word suck and then I embroidered in the word it below it just sort of on top without using a cross stitch pattern I just embroidered it to where you can actually see the lettering in the dark brown and I took off the embroidery uh, hoop and then I laid my clear case over it because I'm able to see through it and then traced around it to give myself a guideline for where I'm going to be cutting this and then used my scissors just to cut it out and I kind of um, manipulated it a little bit after I cut it out to fit perfectly on the top of the iPhone case and also created that eye hole where I simply drew where the eye hole needed to be and then kind of gave a quarter inch 
inch around or about an eighth of an inch around the eye hole just so that um, it kind of fit snugly in there but also looked finished and polished and I used a ton of E6000 to really mount this on the case so I went all the way to the edges and E6000 this on so that it stuck nice and firm and that is your completed suck it case. For this little star sequin case, I used some star sequins, some normal gold sequins, the resin, and then also a clear iPhone case. So what I started off by doing was measuring equal parts of both the clear resin and the hardener that you get in the package, of course. And then I sprinkled on these little star sequins that I found at um, Joann's Fabrics all over the back of the case and then kind of set this aside so I was able to start mixing up the resin. So I mixed the hardener with the actual resin and gave it a good stir for again two minutes just so it activates that bond between the two chemicals and then I poured in some of the gold sequins and the gold glitter that was in the little package and I mixed it all together you can actually mix a lot of stuff into this resin they actually suggest you can do colors or you can do like glitter whatever you want to do so I mixed in the sequins and poured it on the back of the iPhone case over the top of the stars that we originally placed and just sort of used my popsicle stick to just melt it all together and just manipulate it everywhere filled in some of the gaps and let that dry overnight and it created this incredible case This last case is the most inexpensive option and I used some graphic printouts, a clear case, scissors, and a pen. So these graphic printouts are from my DIY Tumblr wallpaper video that I shared with you guys a while back, but you can also use magazine clippings or whatever graphic you find that you like that will fit into this iPhone case. And what I did was use my clear iPhone case and a pen just to mark around the edge and then cut it out of my graphic. And the nice thing is that you can see through the clear so you're going to know exactly what you're cutting out or exactly what you're tracing to start off with. And then once you you, uh, cut out this shape you can also trim down the edges a little bit just so it fits perfectly inside the actual clear case because you're going to be pushing this inside prior to putting your iPhone in which is kind of gonna lock it in between your phone and the case and then what I did was use a pen just to mark out the iPhone camera hole and use an exacto knife to cut that out really quickly and once you have one of these actually created you can use it as a template to create more of them which is exactly what I did I love this concept because you can interchange it so many times so I laid down down the little paper template that we made prior, traced it, and then cut it out on multiple different papers. So this really cute baby you are so many one is so perfect because you could actually interchange these like every couple days if you wanted to, or just whenever you felt like it. So I cut that out, trimmed it out again, and uh, there you go. You can just slip it in your iPhone case and you have so many convertible options. Okay, how good were those? Like. Uh, props to myself, a little pat on the back, why don't ya? Probably most excited to put the um, popsicle one that says suck it on it. I think that is so cute and quirky, but also a little bit raunchy in the same way. Like, I love that juxtaposition. And I also really want to make the star one, the little star glittery one for my own personal iPhone. I don't actually have the iPhone XS Max or whatever it's called yet. Um, I'll probably get it in the future, but at the moment I have the iPhone X. So I'm going to make a case for that one using the stars because that one is so cute as well. I love the way it shimmers and that resin, you guys, is amazing. I am so excited to use that more often. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos I post DIYs home decor random stuff every single week on this channel and you can also check out my past library of videos and I will catch you guys in the next one bye <laughs>